What's up guys? So in today's training video, I'm going to explain the biggest difference between the two different types of travel agent IDs. And so you have your IATIN card, which is right here. Okay. And then you also have your CLIA card, which is right here. Okay. And so everybody does not qualify for uh, an IATIN card, but most travel light agents do qualify for their um, Embark ID, which is their CLIA card right there. Okay. So I'm going to explain the biggest difference. So for one, as I said, many travel agents already qualify for um, their Embark card as soon as they sign up to be a travel agent. But the biggest, biggest difference is that with your IATIN card right here, um, you need to sell at least five thousand dollars. You 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 need to have at least have gained at least five thousand dollars in commission to even qualify for this IATIN card here. So most people, um, most travel agents starting off won't qualify for it, and some travel agents in general will not qualify for their IATIN card. Okay. And so what I'm gonna do, I am going to share my screen, and we're just gonna gonna kind of sort of go over the differences between the the two of them. And so um, let's start with um uh, your your, um, this is what your Embark card is gonna look like. So it's Embark or um, your CLIA card, however you wanna call it. But this says 2021, I do have my 2022. I just can't find it. So um, I don't know where I put it at, but I'll find it eventually, but I don't need it because I have my IATA card. And so um, many of the suppliers, if you're gonna be getting any type of travel agent benefit, whether it be Marriott or Disney, guess what? They ask for these cards by name. They say you need your Clio card or backslash IATIN card, okay? And so this is the IATIN card. This it, They hold the same information, except one has the IATA number on it, and then the other one, it has the, the IATA has the IATA number on it, and then you have your personal verification number, verifying that you are an IATA um, travel agent. And then so same thing with the Clio. The Clio card has our Clio number on it, and you have your personal Clio number, okay? And so um, I'm going to share my screen so that you you guys can see uh the difference okay all right so let's let's do this all right so since clia is the most popular one let's go ahead and start sharing the screen on on the clear card so the the clear card as long as you are with a a travel agency or a host agency that has their clear credentials you automatically qualify for your CLIA card. And so your CLIA card or Embark ID, however you wanna call it once again. So you automatically call, um, qualify for your CLIA card. And if you plan on getting any type of travel agent benefits, any type of travel agent rate, you need your CLIA card or any type of your, your travel agent identification because if you show up to the hotel or whatever it is, you show up to it without it, guess what? You're liable not to get the benefit. They can easily transform your travel agent rate back over to a consumer rate. So never leave home without your um, CLIA or your IATA card. And then so um, some of them actually hold additional benefits just by flashing your card. Okay. So let's go over this. So for your Embark ID or your CLIA card, um, it says here you get partner hotel discounts in which you do. Um, look at Disney. Look at Marriott. You know, those are discounts that are only reserved for people that have their card. Consumers can't get these, okay? Um, you get discounts for ground transportation providers, uh, Avis, Alamo. You get um, um, access to air consolidators, and you get access to CLIA's exclusive affinity group. And so let's let's go over and um, let me see if I'm logged in. Let's see if I can look at the affinity. Okay, so look. I think, I, am I logged in over here? Let's see. Okay, I am logged in over here. Okay, and so like these are some of the discounts that you get with Clea's Affinity Group, okay? So you um you get discounts with American Hearing Benefits, Constant Contact, GE, Lenovo, Live Station, Office Depot, UPS, and um, Wheaton, okay? And so you can go in here and it'll show you it. It'll show you how to get these um, discounts specifically. Some of them you just have to flash your your, your CLIA card when you're there. Um, let's see, hotel partners. If you click on them down here, this is how you're gonna get access to them. And then, you know, just click on the different ones. That's how you get access to them. So that's that for the CLIA card. And so uh, everybody's cost for the CLIA card when it comes to host agency is different. The CLIA card may be 119, it may be 69. You know, it's, it's really dependent on the agency and the status that they're with with CLIA, okay? So that's it for the CLIA card. Now let's get into the IATIN card here, which is the special card, okay? So if you are a travel agent and you have, you are with a host agency that has their IATIN credentials, and so basically having an IATA, it kind of sort of makes that, that travel agency recognized globally. So anywhere, any travel supplier across the globe can just type in, 
you know, the IATA of the host agency, and then it'll pop up who they are. So you may not, you may not need, need to give, you know, details as far as address and, you know, agency owner information. It will automatically pop that up. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down right here because now we're about to jump into, um, let's see, I attend. Okay. So let's look at this. Okay. So this is the IATA card. As I said before, you need to have gained at least $5,000 or more in commission within that, that, that calendar year. Okay. And so some of the, let's see, is it? All right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Rules and, okay, let's 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 go to rules and conditions so you guys can understand that. All right, so uh, for the IATA card, it costs forty dollars. Okay, it's forty dollars, and then if you renew it, it's thirty five dollars. So there's a difference between IATA and CLIA. Okay, and so these are all of the conditions that the applicant must meet in order to get their IATA card. Number one. You must be the owner, employee, or independent contractor, which if you're a travel agent, you are an independent contractor of that host agency. So you guys that are watching, if you're one of my travel agents, you're an independent contractor, 1099 contractor, whatever you want to call it, of Mommy and We Travels, okay? Be registered with IATIN. Yep, we're that, we're that, all right? And so you must be devoting at least a minimum of 20 hours per week to the business of selling travel, okay? And then so over here, you must earn a minimum of $5,000 um, in salary and or commissions in the prior 24 months. So, you know, it, it's not 12, like I said, it's 24, okay? And then you must be at least 18 years old, 18 years old, okay? And so that's the hugest difference. Like, everybody can't get an IATA card. Like, it's that's not how the industry works. And so the IATA card comes with a lot of benefits, like a, a lot of benefits. And um, I guess I can kind of skim through the site really fast and show you guys just some of them, but I'm probably not supposed to, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you guys because that's how people learn. Okay, so um, so that's that's IATA. So let's see. There are so many different benefits that comes with IATA. Let's see. All right, so over here, exclusive access to agent experiences. So agent experience, that's what all of the deals are. That's what all of the deals are. Deals are. There are special fam trips that are exclusive for IATA. Um, IATA well, IATA. You have your IATA card. The agency has their IATA credentials okay so um there's exclusive fam trips for i attend um, card holders uh let's see and then those are all available um in agent experience and you can't get into agent experience unless you're an i attend card card holder um let's see let's see there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot to, to uh when it comes to the savings and so i'm just going to kind of sort of skim skim over let's see move this up top let me see. I'm just going to go back to the beginning. Let's see. All right. That, okay, so look, let's go to member perks. And when I tell you there's a bunch of logins, like it, it makes you log in a few times to make sure that, you know, you are legit. You cannot log into the site. You could try, but good luck. It's not going to let you do that. And so um, one thing that I like to use a lot over here is um, the food, um, our food benefits. OK, so look at this. I hop, we save 10 percent off gift card purchases. Papa John's 20 to 20 percent off regular menu items. Applebee's I hop. It's, it's a long list. It's like 287 um, different suppliers for food. OK, so that's that's food. And then so some of them you click on the button and it'll take you automatically to the, the promo code section. Um, over here, uh, let's say fashion. I saw a bunch of them in fashion. So, like I said, these are the hugest dis differences between um, between them, between the two. You know, the extra discounts. We get extra discounts on travel. Um, it, it just comes with a, a lot of different benefits. And I'm not going to show you all of them. I'm just going to kind of skim through and just show you some of them because you know, some of some people learn um, just by looking. Okay, so over here, advanced auto parts, Ford. Let me see. It, they, you know, the benefits just go on and on and on. And so, like I said, I'm not going to show you guys all of them. I just want to kind of get you guys to understand that um, there are two different types of travel agent identification. And let me show you both, both of them one more time. Um, Got to cover up my. OK, so there are two different types of travel agent identifications. OK, and so, like I said before, most of you guys will automatically qualify for 
your clear card. Most of you guys will automatically qualify for your clear card, but your I attend, you're gonna have to earn that, okay? And so, you know, there's way more benefits than the ones that I just showed you. We get fam trips, we get discounts on specific air suppliers. We There's just a whole bunch that goes into um, having your I, um, IATA card as a travel agent. So I wanted to keep this video under 10 minutes or close to 10 minutes. So if you guys have any additional questions, listen, just reach out to me, just reach out to me and ask me. But there are several agents that do qualify for their IATIN card and um, we're in the process of getting that all, all worked up and all processed. So um, if you guys have any additional questions, hey, listen, let me know. I'm here to answer all of your questions. So until the meantime, I'll talk to you soon.